WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. A bit of a mixed bag out here. And the mix isn't that big. You've got the uh, uh, the only indices trading the downside. The Russell's off 12. New York Stock Exchange is down 4. That's basically flat. Otherwise, we've got uh, the Dow up 65, the S&P 15, NASDAQ 61, Semi 7, Tranny's 155. You've got gold down 14 bucks. Silver's off 49 cents. Light to be crude trading out of 84.67. That's up 91 cents. Natural gas up two pennies, the 30-year treasury. She's trading at 158.29. That's up 12 ticks. Let's go spend some time and take a look at our indice charts out here. Give me a moment to switch over to those panels. And as this comes up on your screen, you're going to see the Dow in the upper left. In fact, you can take a look at the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, uh, all four of those along the top, you'll see that they are going to form bar number nine of a TD nine count pattern today. Now, there's also A to B equals CD patterns out here. So we've got two patterns that are in place. With regard to, and we can see that the oscillator and change lines, those are the red green lines, have changed color. So we know that eventually price net line are going to catch up to each other. In the TD nine count series, a higher high can form tomorrow. And then that high, whichever, if it, whether it's today's high or it's tomorrow's high, we won't know till the end of day tomorrow. That creates an important threshold level. Why? Because if price closes above that and does it in a few sessions, that tells us about strong momentum move to the upside, that we are very likely entrenched in that favorable seasonal cycle, and that we could have a uh, consolidation breakout going across the board. But we don't have that signal just yet. The signal we have is that we should anticipate some type of top, short-term top, and price pulling back and testing that green oscillator and change line. You would expect, because we're in the favorable seasonal cycle, that price will come back, test that, and reject it, and then we're off to the upside. We are in a consolidation pattern. So if price pulls below that green oscillator and change line, closes below the oscillator and change line, then maybe that's signaling to us that the consolidation pattern that we're in continues to exist. So that's really the play along the top of the first four. You do have bar number nine now in the semis. You don't have that in the trannies. You're only in bar number seven. So basically, as I take a look across the globe out here, you've got in these five indices, we don't have it in the New York Stock Exchange, but we do have it in the composite. So we've got everything that we need from the TD nines. Tomorrow still could be a higher high to suggest that we should see some type of short-term top. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.